it's wonderful when you can ask for something and it just come to you like that the power of the mind good afternoon everyone it is ty here at 360 cafe's urban homestead i am back on this manifesting monday with another video update right now i am looking at the rooted bed and so are sweet potatoes are growing nicely they are leafing out pretty well i see that our collards are having some growth our spinach we have a few weeds in here however i'll get in there to pull them out i see some kales everything's looking pretty good i have some garlic over that way some onions the lemon grass has died it has not survived over here in the herb bed we have quite a bit of weeds however you know weeds what and the dill's looking good um some of it has grown up on this one weed here have some lettuce here and the mint is looking really 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 well now the carrots the carrots are looking good they're in there you know i'm trying to hide them amongst the weed because of the groundhog that we have back here we've dubbed him gary the trees are looking awesome i put alberta inside there because they were really having a field day with her eating her up our riesling grapes look like they'll be ready for next year when i put them in the ground And there are our muscadines. The chickens are here in the coop. How are you ladies today? You all good in here? Say hi everyone. Tweet. No? That sprinkle sprinkle right there she is not camera shy and then we have infinity queen buffy making her way through here the queen reign supreme chicky on in the back back there and in this garden bed it's just a total complete mess right now so uh you know but there's always next year the chocolate mint is looking good here in this one bed or loofahs have really vined out and uh, I do have an update we have another loofah and I'm trying to save it hopefully you know I think Gary was the one to eat the last one and so hopefully I'm able to save that one um, even though this one is a complete mess we do have some growth it's taken a while however it's happening I know a lot of things that I'm going to do differently for next year, and that's going to be all right. I've also heard that Starbucks, if you call ahead, they will um, say, put you some coffee grinds aside. So I plan on doing that for the following grow season. This bid has been amazing. Um, the green beans are doing really well. I picked a few that were ready. I decided not to leave them there, even though I don't know what I'm going to do with, like, four green beans. You know, I lost one, dropped one along the way. But, um, that's it for now. Thank you for tuning in, and we will be back with another update. Enjoy your Manifesting Monday. Peace! wanted to add this tidbit into my video a few months ago i had began purchasing canning supplies i had purchased a presto 23 quart or is it pint whatever anyway 
All I know is I got to pull it out and look at it, read its manual, and put it to use because um, in recent days, I've been watching Miss Cheryl at Cheryl's Organic Food Forest and led former 73 in Homestead Heart, and they uh, really have gotten me into the spirit where I'm going to pull out the supplies that I purchased. I went out and purchased some more today. The last of the quart jars at Wally World, um, not too far from my house. And this book here, Canning and Preserved for Beginners, I really like some of the recipes. They look very simple and good. And so I'm going to try some of these out. They have some recipes for some salsa and things like that. Um, so, and this one really gets into detail about the different parts of a pressure canner and which ones are good for um, water bathing, which are good for the pressure canning foods fruits vegetables so um the each of these have their own good qualities about them and so i am about to start applying these things into my life and i would like to thank you all for sharing your knowledge and wisdom with us